I got some news guys, it's actually finally gonna happen. In about a good two weeks time, I'm actually making a move. So a while back I did a, a call out on Facebook. Um, to see if I could find somebody who could drive me and Idna together to Portugal because I thought that would probably be the cheapest way and less stressful way for her to get there but um, yeah I looked into it and there, I had actually quite a lot of response for, from people so I'm very grateful to all the people who actually really re replied and thought together with me for solutions that was really amazing of you all um, but at the end I decided to go with uh, a, tra a transport company to get Idna to Portugal. Um, I don't know why but I got a quite a nice discount from the company as well. So it was a bit cheaper than initially thought. Um, and yeah, they are able to bring her there in one day and 24 hours, which would be impossible to do. Uh, just with us with a trailer, you know, uh, so it would mean that we have to find several places to sleep at uh, During our travels unloading her uh, loading her back in the next day So that would only add to the stress for her and also and to the expenses of the whole journey and Yeah, I know that people or people who who are following me know that I'm quite on a budget that you know, I don't have much money and I think all of the money really that I got I think 70 to 80 percent of my money is going into this journey just getting there so I hope I will get there not completely broke but you know that's how it goes That is pretty exciting news, you know, that I finally have a date set to when I'm leaving. But I must be honest, from the moment the date was set, I also felt very different emotions, you know, because now it's real, there's no more way back. I do feel very different emotions, you know, so I'm... I'm definitely very happy that everything is uh, settled and everything that I have a plan about um, how how I will make this journey happen um, but on the same time yeah the the point that I'm leaving everything behind is coming closer and the insecurity anxiety and all that kind of stuff is also creeping in um, but I must be honest I know that feeling already I did uh, very similar things when I was 10 years younger. I went on a big trip through Europe as well on my bicycle with my dog. Um, and I do remember that before that trip also I was feeling anxious and very insecure. Um, but yeah, you know, I do, I do really believe in what I'm gonna do and I do really want to do this um, so I know it's just something you have to deal with you know and I know a lot of people that's the main reason why they never go on these kind of in in adventures because they're very anxious and because they're very insecure um, and I think that that is for most people to be honest like that you know nobody is 100% sure of what he's doing you know everybody struggles sometimes um, and yeah, I just need to go go through with it, you know. Um, but yeah, I really gonna miss a lot of things, you know. Like I'm leaving a lot of friends behind. I'm also leaving this house behind where I, I've been living in 
for the most part of my life um, which is not sure what is going to happen with the house because this is the property of my dad and I've been living here for the last 15 years because the, the house wasn't really used so I lived here with a lot of friends over the years so my dad told me if I'm not coming back in within a year that uh, he's probably gonna look to sell the house um, this house always has been something to fall back on for me but now that's gonna be gone also I still have a year you know so that's a luxury a really big 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 luxury and I really know that, that I have a big privilege in that sense um, and I'm not sure how to feel about it to be honest but I always knew also that I don't want to stay here there's too little room here for what I really want to do I want to farm basically I want to live sustainably and this little garden is just too small for what I want to do and finding land here around here is just way too expensive so yeah I think this might be the end of a big era for me you know so a lot of changes in my life you know um, and yeah it's not easy it won't be easy at all but that's how it is Edna. but together here with Edna and with Ruan over there who is munching on a chicken yeah we're ready for this new adventure wherever it might take us and yeah we're, we're, we are going to Portugal but uh, I do feel like Portugal is just a middle point like it's not my final destination at least that's what I think maybe I'm, I'm wrong maybe I'm twi in 20 years time I'm still there um, but yeah we will see how it goes you know So yeah guys, I just wanted to give you a little update on the whole situation and I know it's been a while since I made a video but I don't want to make videos just to make videos um, I, and for this one I just want to just explain the whole situation to people who have been following, following me in the last month um, because a lot of people have been asking for a time when I'm leaving, when, when are you leaving, when are you leaving I got this question probably a thousand times over the last few months and I'm always like I don't know, I don't know uh, but now I really do know um, I'm leaving April 17th uh, which is really close so yeah, good times coming ahead and I do think once I'm there and I'm and maybe even now in the next coming weeks I will make more videos and I will have a lot of um, much more interesting topics to talk about when I'm there as well you know then the off-grid life really starts here I'm just preparing a little bit maybe I do a little video about how I prepare for all the stuff um, what I'm gonna take things like that um, but for now you know I'm just just yeah, chilling, visiting, visiting friends, going on a walk with Edna, you know, so it's not really a lot of things there to make videos about um, but yeah like I said there's much more coming up and then in the coming weeks it's only two, two weeks from now that I'm leaving so from then on I think you will see on a much more regular base some videos coming out um, hopefully much in, a, a lot of interesting videos where people can learn something or just get inspired from what I'm doing at least that's what I am hope I will be doing um, and make this channel grow so big up to everybody who has been following me giving me a lot of support over the last few months um, 
people who thought with me uh, to find solutions, things like that. So, so I will include a little clip on the property where I'm moving to in two weeks time. Um, so it's a beautiful four hectare piece of land in Portugal. And yeah, if you want to see how it, how it looks like, keep watching. Bless you.